everyone. So I'm on my way to teach one of my classes and I was just thinking a lot about ambition and me and my sister were talking about it earlier today about how different we seem to be because of our ambition to get things done how we have goals and we know where we want to go and we're taking the steps to get there so I was just thinking about the three things that I think it takes to or that are involved with ambition and I think those th three things are dreaming persistent determination and action. Dreaming is your idea. It's what you want to accomplish. It's the root of ambition. And then you have persistent determination. And I know those seem um, like the same thing, but what I mean by persistent determination is that you can't let your determination slip. You have to stay on top of it. You have to be persistent with yourself every day to become a step closer to your dream. You have to be determined every day to accomplish something in regards to what you want to do, in regards to your idea. And the fourth, or sorry, the third thing, the action, is the result of your persistent determination. It's what you actually end up doing with your time and your resources and the opportunities that you have in front of you. And I can't explain like I know all of you have at one point or another said you were going to do something and then you ended up not doing it and feeling really bad about yourself such as going to the gym you had it in your mind that you were going to go but for whatever reason something came up and you couldn't so you feel bad about yourself and you beat yourself up about it and you think, oh, I missed the workout, I'm not going to get what I want, blah, 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 blah. But whenever you actually do get out and go to the gym, how much better do you feel about yourself? Not just because you killed your workout, but because you got something done that day. You were productive. And it's, it's the action that happened as a result of your determination, which came from the dream that you had to be more fit or have a healthier lifestyle. So I think these three things, dreaming, persistent determination, and action, are what you need to be ambitious. And that's what I want to advocate to you all today, is trying to implement those three things over the course of a day, a couple of days, a week, a month, just fix an idea in your mind, be determined every day to accomplish something in regards to it, and then take action on it so you can actually feel that accomplishment so that you're one step closer to your dream and you're creating this really hopeful Ambitious, ambitious side to yourself that helps you feel better about being successful in some aspect of your life, whether it's your health, your, your mental state, your emotional state, or even your spiritual state. Whatever it is about yourself that you want to improve on, create some type of ambitious goal and it doesn't have to be grand. It can be something small, such as, you know, going for a walk or 
doing a short strength workout or doing something at home, learning how to squat, learning how to deadlift, or hang out with that one person you've been wanting to hang out with, or just take the initiative to talk to that person standing next to you at the at a restaurant or whatever it might be whatever you want to improve on your activity your social skills your grace in life who you want to be be ambitious about it and take the steps that you need to to make it done or to to make it happen and be happy about it. Be happy with yourself that you actually, you got it done. You did what you wanted to do. Because those are the first steps to feeling better about yourself and being a happier, healthier, better you. So that's all I want to say today. I hope you guys enjoy and let me know if you're actually, if you're able to do this um, or if you have any comments or suggestions just let me know let me know what you did today that or tomorrow or that you're going to do to succeed in your ambition yeah okay bye everyone and thanks for listening